Toxic Diamond Live on IG Live. Make sure you follow at Toxic. What is going on, you guys? What is going on? How is everybody? I hope that you guys are enjoying your Sunday. I'm about to do a waking up with Tox. It's late, but at least I'm going to get it done, period. Whatever the case, I came to sound off about this lady, this woman who slapped this black man in his face um, while they were on the stands. What's up, everybody? While they were on the stands, we got the VIP T hive in here hard. What's up, Charisma? Period. What's up, VIP T? We got y'all in here hard. What's up, K Baby? Okay, so two things. Danny Lee and this woman, Danny Lay. Everybody's like, you say her name wrong. Excuse me, okay? Danny Lay and um, this woman who slapped this man in the stands. I think it was at a football game. And she ended up getting smacked. I'm talking about the full smackdown. Like, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Smackdown head ass. Like, I'm serious. Okay, got the smack. Blow. Blow. Okay. Now, let me tell you. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at him. Here's what the reports are saying. The hits at the Steelers and Lions game didn't just happen on the field. Fans got in on the action, too, as a nasty brawl ensued between a woman slapping a man in the face and this man and her man. Now, let me tell you the comment that I made. I think it was on the Neighborhood Talk. I can't really remember. But I said to myself, I said, this lady is an idiot. She's going to end up getting her man really, really hurt. Somewhere in the near future, okay? You don't just go as a woman slapping on grown men just because you think you're superior and you might be drunk. Girl, that's how you get yourself killed. Oop, I can't say that word. A-Rob says she loves the Steelers. Okay, Steelers fan. So anyway, this video is now viral, okay? They got into some type of argument. I'm not sure why this man was even arguing with a woman. I'm just going to be put it real like that. I would have immediately been on her man. If I'm a man, I would have been like, you need to get your girl. Get your girl. Like, get her now before I get you because it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the woman yells, and she says, shut up and get the F out. Then uh, apparently... Um, she touches, she grabs this man's arm. I, now, see, my whole thing is you real bold, lady. You real bold, lady. Because I don't know what made you do that. Because had it been me, baby, baby, okay, you really ain't going to touch me. Try that, okay? So she grabs this man's arm, and then... He says, don't touch me, and he swipes her hand off of him, and unfortunately, she slaps him, and it just, it went down, okay? Um, he just started punching, blah, blah, blah. He just, he just, blah, 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 blah. He just throwing fists, okay, period. And unfortunately, you know, as this man jumped to her defense, um, <laughs> she got socked in the face. He got socked in the face. He almost got knocked out. You know, unfortunately, some of these people, they think they're superior and they don't be superior. Um, and and they, they, let, they let their pride and their ego and everything else take effect on them. But I've realized there's a real empowerment in sitting down and letting some folk just look stupid. I, re I didn't realize that before, but I really do. I realize it now. It's a real power in just sitting down and letting somebody look stupid and, th and letting them destroy themselves with their antics. You know, I feel like, though, I feel like it was self-defense. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, oh, my God, you know, that's an older, you know, Caucasian woman, whatever the case, whatever the case is, she slapped him. OK, and you don't get to put your hands on people without them being able to defend themselves. And unfortunately, I, I really, 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 really hope that people see this and understand what this is and not just blaming it on something else. Um, Ball Voyeurs, I was on Bego. I do have a Bego login from one of my um, VIP T hive that made me an account. But and however, Bego did kick me off. So like every time I want to get on Bego. Um, they banned me permanently. So like, I didn't know that I couldn't, um, like show my cleavage, which is always showing. And I didn't know that, um, that I could not, 
um, take you guys to the bar. I, at that time, I don't even think I was drinking. I just was walking over to the bar because I was depressed and it was across the street. Um, Vigo allows you to play YouTube now. I don't know. I might check back into that, but I am on um, Live Me, though. I'll be on Live Me, so I don't know. Vigo is more popular. I'm going to check back into it, but, you know, for right now. But anyway, I hope that people really learn from this incident that happened with this woman, especially because it went viral. These are This is not the only moment that has happened like this. But I think that people are tired out here. I think that the society has a fatigue from, you know, from 2020 and what was going on. And I think that people are just flat out tired out here. And, and people just not having it. You know, you don't get to put your hands on somebody. Um, thank you, boo. Um, you don't get to put your hands on somebody you know, without them responding. So anyway, the guy ended up getting knocked out. That man was slept for about eight seconds, okay? He was, oh, <laughs> how you doing? On some Wendy Williams head, okay? So anyway, but fans stepped in because I feel like this man was about to tear his butt up. Now, what he did do was this man ended up walking away with a bloody eye, and I don't think a lot of people um, know that. This is like the second fight in one week from LA. Um, unfortunately the first one was like at the Rams game. Um, and the Steelers beat the lions in that game. So, but like, unfortunately for this to have been a thing is just unfortunate. Check this out. If y'all haven't seen this clip, honey, uh, uh, not an ad, not they load that they ad. Now let me tell you something about TMZ. They gonna get their damn money, okay? TMZ gonna make sure they get their coin. I'm not mad. <laughs> Thank you, the sweetest thing. I appreciate it. Yes, honey. Drama is everything. I stay dramatic. You heard? I said I was gonna do. I'm going on my channel. It's called Toxo T Live. T O X O L I V E. Let me pin that one. Toxo T Live on YouTube. And. I'm going to be doing a waking up with Tox. I'm trying to be a, a more professional on that channel because one of these young ladies that call herself being a blogger and she had a hold of Nicki Minaj's um, victim, she had gotten accredited in her um, in in People magazine. And then once they start looking up and down her channel, trying to see like you know what kind of work she actually does, they discredit her discredited her and took her name out of that people's article and honey I, I just I don't want no parts so I try to keep myself my stuff you know professional you know what I'm saying yes I remember you okay here's that clip hold on I'm trying to keep that channel at least more professional and my home channel I feel like they tried to play me so here she is she's like you see that she fully slapped this man like he was a bitch like what? Then she got knocked out. Then, boom, bink, bink, bink. Oh, and then she gonna try to kick at him. Like, girl, you have serious issues. If you had a sat down in the first place and not thought that it was okay to put your hands on somebody, then you wouldn't be in a position you in today. Not only that, I would have filed some type of charges against her because she hit me first. Okay. And not only that, but, but this man was fully justified and everybody, not just one color of person, was like, she hit him first. They was yelling that out, and they had his back. And I'm telling you, people not finna take you putting your hands on them like that. Like, who are you? Who are you to touch me like that? That is so violating. And she just, like, literally slapped him and slapped him real hard. But before that, she had grabbed his arm. Like, girl, I know you ain't grabbing me. Oh, poo, you done messed up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, them hands put in, uh, honey, them hands put in work. Go to work. They did it like it's they be day, baby. Okay, he was throwing hands like it was his B day, like it was they B day, and he was handing out birthday licks. Okay, that's what that's how he threw them. Okay. Anyway, how do I do this on here? I want to share some media. How do I do it? Wait. Okay, well that wasn't it. <laughs> um, what's this? Did that just add sparkles? Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out how do I share some media on here. 
weird, weird. I don't really know. No, that's to invite somebody. Okay, let's just talk about it. The next person that I wanted to show y'all to, uh, that I wanted to talk to y'all about was Danny Lee, right? Danny Lee, Danny Lay has had her baby and she is showing off her post baby body, okay? And uh, what? And it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. I gotta say, she's actually looking good. If you want to see, like if you have, don't have an Instagram and you haven't seen her, I just posted a video about her on my home channel, Toxic Diamond Productions LLC, um, on YouTube, because y'all know I'm a YouTuber. I be trying to get on these other apps, honey. I be trying. Um, I'm trying to make it happen. I just made myself a Twitch, like... <laughs> I'm doing my best. Um, I'm going to have to make myself one of them TikToks or something and get the, you know what I'm saying, all that, uh, doing all of that stuff, you know. Um, oh, that's so sweet. I'm so glad. I love, oh, my God, Tokyo Styles. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She killed the fucking ballroom last night. Oh, Tokyo is so beautiful. She is so bomb, like, Everything about her is the shit. Like, go to her YouTube channel. I love Tokyo Style. She makes me want to cry. Like, I swear, like, I be having a frog in my throat talking about that bomb-ass, fierce-ass bitch. Oh, my God. She killed that ballroom last night and won the award for face, honey. Give it to him. Yes. And I just, oh, Tokyo, you have my heart, love. Okay, period. Yes, she won $1,000 for the face category. I love her. I love her. She's everything and beyond. Like, uh, she said this morning, know your worth and add tax, period. You heard? Let's go back to a person that don't know they worth, Danny Lee. Danny Lay. What is her fucking name? What is her, what is her fucking name? I have over 300 DVDs I'm editing one by one. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. That's a lot. Editing is, it be killing me. I heard Tokyo Tony say just, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, she was like, I'm not finna edit no fucking videos. I was like, damn. She's like, that shit take too long, but you're supposed to have a production company and looking for talent, Tokyo. That's all I'm saying. No shade, but the palm tree. All right, next, Danny Lay. Let me do this because I got to get on this. I got to go change my clothes and do this damn, um, um, Waking up with tox. Not only that, but also uh, um, I'm going to be doing T.I. movie night tonight. We're going to be watching both of the baddies reunions. And then I'm going to do my commentary on T.I. movie night channel. And then we're going to watch an actual movie. And then I'm going to do my review after that so that's how that's gonna go and i might drop a couple of news videos but danny lay i'm sorry to drag you like this but baby mama because that's what you are baby mama because you could have been somebody's wife i hate when i see these chicks that be like successful they be right in there and then they do not know how beautiful they are you don't know how worthy you are you don't know how important you were you are like you know and you do dumb shit like like you think you're going to steal the baby from Mimi and y'all going back and forth. And so now you're like stuck with a baby that nobody is claiming. Like where the fuck is your baby daddy? Are you kidding me? At this point, I don't even think the baby is the baby daddy. Like I don't even think the baby is the baby's daddy. At this point, I'm just looking at Danny Lee with the side eye. Like sis, is that Snoop Dogg's baby? You need to let me know. Because when she was pregnant, she was up in the studio with Snoop's. No, nah, I'm just playing. But what I'm saying is this, at this point, this could be anybody in the industry's baby. Because the baby show ain't claiming this baby. And let me tell y'all one thing about the baby is that he's a good father and he gonna claim his kids. One thing about the baby is that he loves his children. He's he definitely takes care of his offspring. So if he's just not claiming his baby, this make me look at your ass sideways and why you not pressing the issue. You ain't came out and said nothing publicly. So why is it that I'm supposed to believe that the baby is your baby when you not even acting like the baby is your baby dad? I'm asking. Somebody tell me because what I'm seeing right now is baby mama. You and your father and your mother are going to take care of that child. That's what I'm seeing. 
Okay. On top of that, she said it was a girl, but I saw a lot of blue. I saw a lot of blue. It made me wonder what's going on with all this blue up in this room. Y'all know the baby is a Y chromosome giver. He's having little girls out here. If in fact he had had another child, a little girl, I think he would have said something about it. I think he would have said something about it. I do not see the baby just not claiming his kids. Okay? And that's what I got to say about that. But I really want to give a, a serious shout out on a serious note to Danny Lay because she's a beautiful young lady. I just want you to know your worth. Don't do this again. Actually get married. You got one child now out of wedlock. Don't do this no more. Okay? Get, get what you need to get out of a man and don't let it be a baby. Because let me tell you something. Women are in a delusion nowadays. Women are walking around delusional. Like this is 1950-something. Okay, talking about you're going to be with this man for the rest of your life. That's not what's happening out here in these streets, sis. Okay? Especially not in these media streets. Like these men are not out here staying with you for the rest of your life. What are you doing? Did you think you was finna hook up with this rapper and he was gonna just be with you for the rest of it? It was you and him. He just snoop dogging this. No, baby. I need, I'm gonna need for all of these young women, Eliza Reigns, the Alexis Skies, all I'm gonna need for y'all to be realistic. I'm gonna need for you to be realistic and understand that that's not what's going on. And even if it is what's going on, don't walk into a relationship with the initial expectation of you staying with this man for the rest of your life. You have to realize, even if you've been with him for the first year, y'all don't even know each other. Danny Lee, you don't know the baby. Girl. And then you singing songs talking about, uh, he just want a yellow bone. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember what the song was. Sound like Coyle Ray. Okay. We all get money. We all get money. Uh, what are you talking about? Okay. Yellow phone is what he wants. Apparently not. He was seen the other day posting his chocolate baby, and he said it was his chocolate bar. That's what he said about his baby. So I'm just saying, he posting children. It just ain't hers. And I wasn't going to talk about this, but let me go ahead. Shikari... Shikari Richardson's with a S. Shikari Richardson's. This is why it's important to be humble, people. And this includes Danny Lee. That statement includes Danny Lay. It's important to be humble, people. Why? Thank you, Lizzie from UK. Hey, Suki. Let me tell you why. Because look at the position God will put you in if you're not humble. That's a fact. Even myself, I'm not saying I'm not included. I'm keeping it 100. I'm included too. I'm being humbled right now as well. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that I can speak on it because it's a reflective place that I'm speaking from. Like all things are. I talked about that on my backup channel this morning. What I'm saying is that Shikari Richardson was talking all that shit online. And I know she has to be confident and I know, but you are not a rapper. You don't have to be on here like, I'm the greatest rapper alive. I'm the first one that ever did this and did. That is not, sis, what, what, what are you doing? I'm asking for a friend, okay? Then could you imagine the disappointment that her management, that her family had when you placed very last in this last race? You talked all that shit about Lil Nas X. I don't like him. You talked all that shit about Nikki. I don't like her. But at the end of the day, you placed last. You could have easily stayed in your own lane and just been humble. Just practice, practice, practice. Somebody said it's obvious that she's still smoking on the dragon. Whew. Well, let me tell you something about the Twitter lead. It sure will make you slow. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Ball Voyeurs. Yeah, if you could send me somebody that can get me on Beagle like ASAP and get me out of jail, Beagle jail or whatever, I would really appreciate it. I did ask uh, that fool nature boy, but unfortunately, I think he's a hater. So, you know. Hmm. Anyway, all right, y'all, let me go. I need to change and get ready for um, waking up with talks. Unfortunately, it's going to be at 3.30 instead of 3 o'clock because I talked too much here, and that's fine with me. <laughs> I'll holler back. Peace and love. 
make sure you go to Instagram and follow at Toxie. Plus, make sure you like and subscribe.